All right, now the uh, the section on uh, on what's called the publish page of the wiki application. Uh, so what we're going to do here is um, add functionality to the wiki, which will look here. There's a link here, publish. So when we click this link, of course there's nothing there now, we're going to build that. What will happen is we'll get a dialog that will say, do you wish to publish this page in the, we in the news feed? And we say yes or no, we confirm it. And then, um, and then a transaction is then done between the wiki application and the newsfeed application. So the newsfeed will start publishing links to the, that particular wiki page that we're publishing. But what we're going to do here is to stub that functionality out. We're going to stub it out. That means we're going to implement that functionality partially and then we'll need to go to the um, to the newsfeed application to to complete the process alright so let's go ahead and um, start getting prepared for that we'll need a JSP file publish page.jsp this is what has the the confirmation um, uh, script in it or the um, what do you call it just a confirmation page. So under JSP, let's uh, create a file called publish page. This is the contents. And we'll stare at that just for a second. You can see that the servlet is going to put an instance of wiki.data.page in what's called the request object and uh, it'll be retrievable through the key wiki page. And here's the confirmation. Are you sure you want to publish this page? Right. So we publish or we cancel. Alright, let's uh, move forward. Here's our publish page servlet. And then uh, we grab this, copy that, and uh, you know I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. It's uh, Control Shift F. Let's see, we're recording yet. Yeah. And uh, here's the publish page servlet, extends HTTP servlet. We get the logger, whoops, sorry. We get the logger here, the request dispatcher to forward to the JSP. We forward to the publish page.jsp file. This processes do get messages. This, when do get runs, it's a request for the confirmation page to start, start the process of confirming the 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 publish operation the do post is when the um, when the user either cancels or 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 publishes so we check for cancel here if it's a cancel we just redirect to the view page otherwise it's not a cancel it must be a um, must be a publish or a submit so we use the page DAO and um, we s there's a there's an is is published field and we want to set that to um, to true. So here it is set published uh, set published field to true. We do it right here and we also save the the ID of the of the news feed. So this published page will have an ID in the news feed application. We want to store that that ID in the newsfeed application because we may want to remove ourselves from or remove this page uh, from the newsfeed so we'll need the ID we need to pass the ID to perform operations on this newsfeed item so that needs to be 
that needs to be stored. But this is what's stubbed out, in fact. Uh, where is it? Oh, here. We, we have the publish operation right there. So we call publish. That returns a published ID. Airs published here. We're just returning three. So we're, we're pretending that the published service returned an ID of three. So we're going to do the implementation in, in stages. All right, that one's done. We need to add configuration to get the servlet to work. Let's go ahead and do that. So web XML file. Put that in there. And then uh, now we're ready to test actually. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's stop the wiki. Start the wiki. Check for errors. And now we'll test. Publish. Are you sure you want to publish? Cancel. Publish. Are you sure you want to publish? Publish. There it is. That's uh, unpublished now. The link is now unpublished. Of course, we haven't implemented yet. We need to do that. And in the database, we should check the database. See that uh, SQL minus U wiki minus P1234 minus uppercase D wiki. And select star from uh, from page. Maybe that's hard to read. So let's describe the page table. We'll select um, select uh, name, comma, published, comma, published ID from page. Just do all of them. So you can see we have a we have a page which is the the, the nameless page. Uh, we published that, so you can see the integer here set to one, showing that this this integer field now represents true. And this is our our pretend uh, news feed ID of three. Yeah, so that looks like it's working. And that uh, that completes this uh, this section of the chapter.